Hi, and welcome back to Car Confessions, or welcome to Car Confessions. I'm Mary, and I'm the Elder Hunt sister. My younger sister Yvonne and I tell stories here of our adventures as shared ride drivers, and also some of our little just life confessions. Before I get started with today's story, I just want to ask if you've been here before to please subscribe. And at the end, if you've liked what you've seen, if you would please subscribe also. Like and comment over here, and we'd love to have a chat with you. So the last couple days, I have driven a lot. Friday was St. Patrick's Day. I knew it was going to be a very busy day, and it was. I took a nap before getting out on the road just to make sure. Had my water, my coffee. I was ready to go. Uh, just as I thought, it was busy from, I think I drove from 6 until 1, somewhere in that neighborhood. I drove a lot. Then I came home, couldn't, couldn't you know, you got to unwind a little bit. And the next morning, I saw that there was going to be a 7 to 8 a.m. $18 bonus. Now, Lyft and Uber pay pretty good. It's a decent side gig. But if you want to make it your full-time job, you either have to drive tons and tons of hours, 40, 60, 80 hours a week, or you have to hit these bonus areas or bonus streaks. So Sunday morning was going to be a bonus streak, and we're going to get $18 if I get three rides in a row. Now that means I can't turn down any ride. I just have to take what comes up next in the queue. Now, if you can get those three rides done and your hour's not up yet and you get a fourth ride, then you get the next two count for another $18 bonus. So that you can see how that can stack up and make you some really good money. So even though I was exhausted from the night before, I was I set an alarm and I said, okay, I'm gonna get up at six, see how I feel, if I feel okay, I'll get dressed, have some coffee, hit the road. So six came and I hit the snooze button, except my cat is a perpetual snooze, not a snooze button, a perpetual alarm because six o'clock is about her feeding time. So she was meowing and meowing and walking over my head and all the things she does in the morning to try to get me up. So I got up and fed her and I said, look, you're already up, get up, see what the app's like. Of course, the app was very busy because the morning after something as big like St. Patrick's Day, people end up awake where they didn't mean to be awake or they need to go get their car because they left it. Um, a lot of reasons why it's busy the night after a big event like that. So I said, okay, I'm gonna just go out. I'm gonna get my $18 bonus maybe twice and then I'll come home. <laughs> Best laid plans of mice and men, right? I mean, that's how it goes. So I see that it's busy, particularly busy down in an area of Chula Vista called East Lake. I've mentioned East Lake before. And there were, in addition to the 18 hour bonus I would got, there were simple uh, bonuses getting just for being in that area. And they ran anywhere from 375 to five and a quarter when I was looking at it. So I said, okay, I'll leave the house at 6.30. That'll get me down to East Lake in time for my seven o'clock start. Because when you have one of these bonuses streaks, you don't want to start it until you're right in that hour so you don't get a first ride two minutes before and that doesn't count. So I get down to East Lake, I get a $3.75 $3 bonus to clock on and I get a ride. And the ride says it's gonna be 95 minutes, I think it said. And I'm like, oh man, I'm going to like Anaheim or something. So sure enough, I went down all the way to the border, picked up a lady and brought her to Anaheim. So I still, the next two rides are still gonna give me the $18 bonus, I'm fine. That was a very good paying job. I said, you know, I'll just work my way back home, no problem. Then I think, maybe I'll get two rides right around Disneyland, I'll log off, I'll go to downtown Disney, there's some shopping I need to do, and uh, then I'll just get rides going home. No, of course not. I get another ride in Anaheim that takes me all the way to Huntington Beach. Then at Huntington Beach, I get a ride that takes me all the way to Newport Beach, where I stop and get some lunch. Then I got three or four more rides down the road. Ends up, I was on the road the first night for like six and a half hours. The second day, so sun, or Saturday, I was there for like five and a half hours driving. So very good money, which is good because we're going to WonderCon next weekend and I need some extra money. Uh, bad because I'm pretty tired. But 
that's what happens when you drive uh, Lyft or Uber and like me, you never turn down a ride. So it's just adventure after adventure. Oh, before I forget, real quick. Um, so I told you guys a, a little while ago about my first ride. Well, yesterday was my 2000th ride. The last young men that I dropped off, they were very nice young men. I brought them from maybe like Hillcrest to Tula, Tula Vista, but the guy kept saying Tula. And um, when they got out, we had talked a lot about car confessions and stuff. I hope they look us up. And when it got out, the app clicked and said, congratulations on your 2000th ride. So I let the young men know, know that. And then I wondered, did I miss my 100th ride and my 1000th ride? You know, I don't remember what those were, but hit my 2000. So anyway, sorry if this is too long and boring, but I'm glad you watched. And I hope you keep watching because we love making these videos. Bye-bye.